Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Taking in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Anthony Hitchens. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Eight yards to go on second down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Open man is Cameron Batson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot, but they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. To throw is Tannehill. Room to run past midfield. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. A shotgun handoff to Henry. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now it's second and nine. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for the running back, Derrick Henry, and it's third down. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. Escaping the pressure right. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. A first down carry for Henry. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Chris Jones. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On second down now, it's Henry, and he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 14. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third-and-one situation. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. Gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. 
And the Titans are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Trying to punch it in with Henry. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Of the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Here's Henry. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did that time for a loss. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. That'll be caught by Brown. Touchdown, Tennessee. A.J. Brown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal. There was no hesitation. Field goal unit never sniffed the field. It was a message. And the message was, I trust you on offense. Go out and make this happen. Go ahead and pick it up. You know what else he said? I trust my defense as well. They don't get it. I know you're going to hold them. So it's a message to your entire team that you believe in them. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Flushed out right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Four yards the pick up, first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. From the 38, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure, 
When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. And at the 47-yard line. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes caught. Kelsey, left side. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot. 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. He used to work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Give him nine there on the first down completion. At the 25-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. They go play action here on first down. Now he'll escape to his right. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice, consistent gain. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Mahomes going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Seven, Chiefs, nothing. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. The leading rusher for last year's national champs, LSU, it's Clyde edwards alaire And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. 
They'll go for it with Bell. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell able to make it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Showing some grits and some guts going for it there. Fourth and goal, pounding it in. And being rewarded for that confidence in the team, huh? The coach saying, let's go ahead and get this. And how about the guys up front firing out, finding a little bit of a crack for them to get through? Touchdown. I love it. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away taken about seven yards deep and no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25 the Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive and they had to wait a long time to get the football back probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming agreed what you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly right hoping for a three and out so that didn't happen you can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Well, pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them and do I have enough confidence to make a play? From the 31, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Titans on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Now Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll run on first down. Henry, and he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From just shy of midfield, Tannehill. Dancing to his left. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the 16-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Tannehill. And he will find Davis. That's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A gain of six there on first. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 10-yard line. 
Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Second down, it's Henry. He gets this down to the three. Brought the power run out of the bag, but couldn't do a ton with it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think the second down is a time you go. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Cameron Batson. Cameron Batson there to make the grab. And the Titans have taken the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It'll be a two yard game, and the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. And that's why you spend a first round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He's got his tight end on the corner round. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Mahomes now on first down. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And he's got this down to the 35. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. They looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The tackle by Kenny Vaccaro. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. And the Titans, 30-yard line. Second and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and three. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call it? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open. He finds a way to pick up a first down. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. This is caught. Watkins. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Mahomes on target to Watkins for a KC first down. The six-yard line. again and they're into the end zone but it's not verified yet hold on there is a flag down so reverse the celebration we'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks and isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone a terrible spot for a holding call as they'll try again but now from further back on first and goal Mahomes to throw once more. Steps away to his left. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Brings up second and goal at the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes with a touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, You've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. down Tannehill quick slant to Brown now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half back to back good plays have them on the move on first down Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They had two straight first downs. Now a gain of nine to set up second and one. To the air again, Tannehill. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Tannehill throwing again. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This officially a 55-yard attempt. Come on now. Let's do this. You better believe it, baby. You better believe it. They don't want it. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the problem. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amani Hooker. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, powering forward. 
And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. And we got Mike, number 53. Now Edwards Alaire. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. The 39 yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Complete, the tight end, Kelsey. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the 36. Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? So that one will be accepted. Delay of game penalty. Ships him back five yards, makes it third and ten. Mahomes now to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. 
They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Ball give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and we will remain tied here in this third quarter. So another long try for three and another kick that comes up lacking. Yeah, this isn't going to do any wonders for his field goal percentage, but you have to figure as a head coach that when you send a guy out there to try and kick from that distance, it's a 50-50 proposition at best. They'll start with the option. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Mahomes looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They run the option here on first and 10. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. 
Caught out left side by Robinson. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Goal to go. They'll try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire taking it in. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The ball carrier. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside. Ball's delivered. Gets both feet down for the completion. On first and 10, Tannehill. He'll get this complete to Batson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 12 more yards there and another first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. A first down carry for Henry. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Play action. It's Tannehill. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 18. That one goes for 24 yards. Tennessee. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Derrick Henry. Chris on Jones on the stop. He was brought down at the 13-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. From 13 yards out. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chiefs offense set to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. Mahomes going to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second. And that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Edwards Hilaire. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. From the 36, Mahomes firing quickly here, and that's complete. 11 yards there, first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Now a first down carry by Bell. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. 
The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And yeah, that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space. Maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and ten at the 20. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Henry's got it out on the left side. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. the Titans first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. On first down, Henry pushing forward for three up to the 48. Derek Henry, on Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks up allow other people to make seven. tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> so third and long after the sack. Tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it up. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. 
On third and long, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Eluding the pressure right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get him. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 48-yard line. Clock down to zero, and that's going to be a delay. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Tannehill now to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Yards to go. The Titans on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and eight. Now Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Four yards. Well, that play really didn't fool them. They completed the screen pass, but for lost yardage, a really nice play by the defense. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Hardman to return. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. They'll run on first down. It's Bell, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. He was brought down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And I give this time to the tailback. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning.
Here's Mahomes to throw. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Nice. Well coached. A team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. First down, Bell breaks free again. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Le'Veon Bell. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So now Tannehill and the Titans. Down 28-21. 70 seconds remaining. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. to throw and right side Henry's got it and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage but no more than that not good they didn't move the football an inch and precious time ticking off the clock three yard line Titans moving quickly here they're in the hurry up Tannehill now to throw they will find Davis. That's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards. Now it's third and five. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped. Getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Tannehill. And that will be incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. 
And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And now here comes Kansas City. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this... You know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.